spirit. Thank you for the manifested presence of your spirit that comes like rain. Thank you for your manifest presence that comes like rain. Thank you for the distance between what you have always desired has been closed up. In the name of our Lord Jesus, it has come between it has come within the point of reach. It has come between the point of reach. Thank you, Lord, we take advantage of that which has been made available. In the name of Jesus, please you may have your seat. Hallelujah. So in the next few minutes, we're going to talk about how to push to any victory. How to push to any victory. In Psalm 44, verse 5, I'll be reading the Passion Translation. Please permit me. It says, through your glorious name, through your glorious name, we can push to any victory. What that implies is this. If you're a born-again believer and you know that what you're experiencing is a contradiction to the will of God, you can push to any victory over it. Why can you push to any victory? Jesus has already purchased your victory over that matter. If you want the scripture, there are many of them. In John chapter 16, verse 33, it says, Be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. What that implies is this. There is nothing that this world, the systems, the ways and the conditions of this world can ever bring up that can swallow you up. On one condition, that you action his word there is a natural process and there is a supernatural process. I talked about it. Someone said to me, said, why is it so that every other person in my family, when it concerns childbirth, they don't pray. One, two, pam, pam, pam. It just happened. Why is my own like this? I said, okay. It is apparent that there is a devil and his devices somewhere frustrating and challenging the will of God. However, we have not been left at the mercy of circumstances. So that's why Jesus says, I have overcome the world. The Amplified Bible says, I have deprived it of its power to harm you. You can assess the condition differently. That's fine, you can. But it is better you go to the world. There is a natural, natural way of looking at things. You know, there are a lot of people who are masters in natural things, which is really wonderful. As a believer, we have been given the access. When the natural becomes challenging, switch to the supernatural. It's amazing people have these devices in their car. When you switch the car to auxiliary gear, you know, the first time I was in the very good I had auxiliary gear was funny. I was watching other cars glide on the mud. And it is bad when you're trying to drive on a slippery ground with a car that has no auxiliary. When you are driving forward, the mud will push the car sideways. And the more you put, the thing it takes you away from the road. So I was watching cars supposedly going straight, but the mud was taking them this way. So some came down and were trying to scrape the mud from the tire. So the fellow that was in the car said, Pastor, hang on. This one is the auxiliary car. We're going to bring four by four now. I just said, and then the Lord said, this is what I do in your life. I bring the super over the natural override what it is that was a challenge in the natural. But you have to understand how it works. You have to. The supernatural is not a mystery. If it was a mystery, it would not be said that it is given to you to know the mysteries of this kingdom. It won't be said that way. 
how would Jesus be expecting us supervisor, clerk, to bring the supernatural when we don't have the tools. Watch this. The name of Jesus is one of the most powerful tools for bringing the supernatural to bear. Why is this so? Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in the name of Jesus, Jesus takes the request from you and goes straight to the Father. He never gets a no answer. But you've got to understand how the name works. Please, the name of Jesus is not an incantation. Jesus, Jesus, hey, hey, hey! That is incantation. That's the meaning of incantation. You are, in, you are invoking things. That's not the way it works. Say it seven times. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Quit all those things. It's understanding. Have you ever seen anybody sign his signature before? Hey, Jack, 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 Jack. Can you go to someone who's about to take money from the ATM? He puts the card inside. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You just ask something to do this, man. Because what the machine needs is the pin. Am I correct? The personal identification number. Once you put it inside, watch this. The name of Jesus opens the realm of the spirit. If he worked for the seven source of Skiba, why do you think he won't work for you? Why? For the most part, what most people have heard about the name of Jesus, somebody they go, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I said, <laughs> because most people take it like incantation. If you say it 12 times, the devil will just leave you. Oh, God. You are laughing. That that's how some, that's the mentality of some people. Say it four times. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Without a conviction about what the name implies, it means nothing. It means nothing. It means nothing. There is another way to use the name. That means you are going to be standing instead of Jesus confronting the situation because you have been given the power and authority to do so. The last crusade we had last week, on Saturday, there was a boy that was one year, eight months. This boy had never walked from birth. His legs are on two different sides. You know, the legs are it's supposed to be straight. That this way. Physically speaking, physically speaking, how do I have what it takes to straighten the legs? I don't. But with the power, authority invested in the name, we can push to any victory. You know what some people say? This one passed me. It's not about you, but it's about the spirit of the Father that dwells in you. How much can we give him expression? Please watch this. You can't release what you have without the trigger of God's word. I'll take it again. You can't release what you have in your spirit without the trigger of God's word. The first thing that will bring about the working of miracles, you must have the seed of the word. You must. God teaching about the miraculous in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18, teaching Moses before things begin to happen. He tells Moses, I will raise up a prophet like you in your midst and I will put my words in his mouth. I will put my words in his mouth. Then with his, my word in his mouth, this man will go and speak to the people. Because it is the word that releases the action of the spirit. Please listen. Even when you are praying, please listen. I think this is the place where most people miss it. Oh, Jesus! Let me go! 
when you're praying, you are plowing the ground, waiting for the seed. If you listen to that brother that was praying for his brother that was in the theater, he was doing it, maybe he did not understand it. He kept on praying. After a while, he said, nothing broken, nothing stolen. You cannot pray without the word and expect anything. No jack will take place. The word must be planted first in your heart. Then God would instruct you by his spirit on what to do. God has a template that he himself has submitted it to. In 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 24, it says, what you have spoken with your mouth, you have fulfilled it with your hand. What you have spoken with your mouth, you have fulfilled it with your hand. So it is wrong to be waiting for the hand of God when you don't have what he has said with his mouth. Yes, you're looking for school fees that's beyond your bank account for the last seven years. You must locate what God has said with his mouth that you might see a demonstration of what his hand can do. Are we together now? So we have people who don't know what he has said with his mouth, who are believing God. Hey, shakabata! Hey, shakabata! Bekoteba! Oga, you must have what he has spoken with his mouth that you might have a demonstration of what he has said with his hand. That's the same thing Isaiah said, who has believed our report, and then to whom is the arm of the Lord demonstrated. There is a scripture, there is a verse that speaks to your situation. The Holy Spirit has been given to you to point you to that particular verse. Please let me share this. You can't be lazy when it concerns this. I beg of you. It's not insultive. But if you are lazy, you will sleep the death, the sleep of death in the midst of a battle. What that means is this. It is in front of you. Now, because of a lack of understanding, watch this. A lack of understanding, what should not happen will start happening. Psalm 18, verse 28. You know, sometimes we, I, I really come to, when I come to church and I watch the attitude of some people, me, I go back and I start interceding. You see the person just come. And then you're asking yourself, in all sincerity, even this man had an electronic brain, how will this man be able to capture the essence of this truth that has been shared? A mom. And yet this is the same person. <laughs> I said, no, because first thing first, what has his mouth spoken? And watch this. Whatever you don't write down, you have committed 60% to losing it from the moment you hear it. It's a logical fact. So that means, as I'm speaking to you now, if it is not written anywhere, 60% of what you have been hearing is gone. So it is only when you have it, it is written. And then also, you will go back on it. Okay. Psalm 18, verse 28. The Lord will do what? 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 And the Lord my God will do what? Please, come. Thank you. Please, I want you to sit on this carpet. Just sit down, sit. For the sake of this teaching, conditions have put him in this position. So you can watch very carefully. Don't worry. Conditions have put him here. Now, he wants to come out. He wants to come out. So, to come out, he needs first the word of God spoken to him from the word. So, crying, oh God, bring me out. Shaking nothing because God operates to, with us by covenant. Are we together now? Good. So now, he wants to come out. 
Now, he goes to church and he's told, arise and shine for your light has come. If you read the scriptures in the book of the Amplified Bible, it says, arise from your prostrate position. That means where condition has kept you here, it's time to do what? Watch this. The entrance of God's word will bring light to this man where he has been ignorant that has prevented him not to get up. Are we together now? That's why I can't get up. Oh. Hey, the word carries with it self-energizing power. Please watch this. Why the word does not work for many people, they forget that when you receive the word, it must be watered. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, it says, I, Paul, I have preached, I have sown, I, Paul, I supported Amanu. Eh? Look at them today. You know what he's looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher. He might come to church and be so distracted from the beginning of the service to the end. Am I speaking to someone now? To the point where he sits down, all he does is to look at his condition. See? There was a time I used to own five cars. Hmm, this life. And then he begins to tell some stupid parables such as life. We we're not meant to live by parables. We were designed to live by the words that proceeds out of his mouth. Watch this. God has given us a tool, a tool on how this guy can come out. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, he says, This book of the law must not depart out of your mouth. You must do what? Meditate on it day and night. Watch the most important part that you might observe to do. Did you notice the person that had that brain surgery said, while I was in the theater, I was remembering, right? I was doing what? Remembering my wife. Remembering my children. Remembering. Did you hear him saying remembering his suffering? Good. This is the point. What this man can see with his eyes of understanding, we did that exclude God or bring God into the matter. God. So that becomes the focus of their eyes of understanding. When your eyes of understanding is filled with darkness, how great is that darkness? So you have people who are like this. All they can see, this is no good end though. It will not end. My sister, I'm not a child. If it happened like this, second, third, now, 10 years now. <laughs> because already this person is making conclusions based on experiences. Am I speaking to someone now? Watch this. For any experience you have seen, God says, behold, I will do a new thing. But you know what they say? Ah, now, many times we don't wait for that new thing. No happen. My sister, make me wise. I beg. Uh, do you have a car that can be pushing you at this position. We have a small cart. You will be here. It will not move your leg. Eh? You just push it. At least you, can, you see have life. Can I say this? He made you whole. You can be whole again. With your eyes of understanding, you can see into 31st of December when you have not physically entered. Am I speaking now? Standing has entered. Your body must follow. Let me take it again. <laughs> Wherever your eyes of understanding has entered, it's just a matter of time. Your body must follow. Watch this. Where your eyes of understanding has not entered, it is with your eyes of understanding. Watch this. You know, there are people who are sitting down looking at me now. You're just seeing things just pass you by. If you can only imagine what the word says about you.
Abraham had been waiting for 25 years to have a child. You know what the problem was? His family background. Sometimes your family background can keep you here. When you look at all, all your family members, nobody has ever built a story building and stayed alive. Nobody has ever gone to university. So that forms your environment. Am I speaking to someone now? So that environment by itself is an oppression. So anytime you want to rise up, see him, no see him. In that's so when they do big, big, big eye. So all of those things, they now form weight. I watch this. There are times when the opinions of people can keep you down. Am I speaking now? So I see you there now. You just look yourself. Hey? You see somebody will marry you. Then they throw away him. And then you now look at yourself. Assess yourself. It's true. How old are you? Listen, age cannot deny the miraculous. He says, see, I have said before you, Jericho, see, I have given you its Pastor, Jesus, do what you want to, want to do. That your daughter is tired. He's tired. It looks as if I'm acting. I'm speaking to somebody. You know why? When you come to that position where you feel any had drum, God, da, 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 da. <laughs> you know, train tantrums at him. He's still Jehovah. This is the point where you need to know some things about him. Whosoever cometh to God must believe that he is. Please know this. When you approach God, please, when you approach God, there's one requirement. Whether you are 40 years, 10 years, you must come with boldness. Boldness is not gra -gra 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 -gra. boldness is a strong persuasion that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know. He that cometh to God must believe that he is. Please watch this. When you come to the throne of grace, how the trouble started is not important. Even when you cost it yourself. Uh -huh. So that a guilt will not begin to overwhelm your confidence. Why are you coming now? You have been trying push cuts. You have been trying herbal medicine. You see now you want to believe God? No. When you come to God, he will never ask those questions. So if you're listening to me right now, your mind is attacking you. Uh -huh. So now after trying everywhere, now you can't come to church. Don't allow your heart to be condemned. Many people have lost their miracle because inside there's an internal battle. Uh, last month I did not tie it now. Even now, if my mind is just telling me now, that one I call some. <laughs> Am I speaking to someone now? Uh, the other time, I, I shot at my wife! Because Samata Yalaha. Mm -hmm. You slapped her too. Make her pra in Bengizia. Okay. <laughs> so, I just come. Jesus. If you can consider me. <laughs> you know what? The investment that God has in your heart is too big. Lift up your head. You're a son. You're not a slave. Come to him. You know, sometimes some people make mistakes. That is when the proof of who they really are will be discovered. You are not who you are because of your performance. You're who you are because God says that is who you are. When your performance is what detects how you respond to God, you have a faulty sense of identity. So how can this man come up? Please listen to this. God's word has the capacity of transforming itself into whatever it declares. So if God's word says, none shall be barren in the land, right? None shall be barren in the land. So the person who's reading it should not say, eh, now, nah, 
How many times abortion? No, the person must begin to see himself or herself carrying the baby. Some things when you tell some people that day, that is when the whole thing will die. I'm telling you. It will die there. If you did craze before, we know you will not craze beyond this. <laughs> so for Abraham, <laughs> Sarah would have asked him, do you have womb? No. Do you know how it means to carry the womb? No. You go and kill your own son. For me, keep my Isaac here. Please, may sentiments not bleak, block your breakthrough. Listen, when Abraham was following that instruction, I want you to understand this. <laughs> the servant asked him a question. Sir, we're not interrupting you. You're a great man of God. But we see the wood. We see the wood. We see the knife. Where's the sacrifice? You know what he said? I'm going to come back here with my son. In other words, even if I sacrifice him, I see with my eyes of understanding that I'm bringing him back. Remember, whatever you have entered with your heart, your body must what? You know, people do it. You just sit down and just look. It will not work. Who told you? And you know the reason why the person says it will not work? Using all the past experiences. But God says, behold, I will do anything. Even if you gave up to your, on yourself, God is going to revive, resuscitate things in a way that will blow your mind. Watch this. Now, he begins to ponder down the word. He begins to see himself not only walking, riding the car. You know, is he sitting down there? Is he sitting down there? Is he sitting down here? There's a law. Whatever you have sold into your heart, whatever you have sown into your heart must produce a good man out of the good treasure of his heart. Secondly, as this man starts praying, he starts praying, sitting down here, God is going to arrange circumstances, events, that would support his standing up. You know what will happen one day? God will bring him in contact with a person fully flooded with the fullness of God. Watch this. The person is going to evoke the name. Not twice. This won't happen in the Econ. I took the baby on my hands. This baby was crying. <laughs> if you ever see the baby cry before, this one was just piercing crying. I carried the baby on my hands. All I was doing was just communing with God on my inside. I carried the baby. I just said, I let the baby just keep quiet. And after a while, the baby kept quiet. I did not pray. I simply put the baby down. Held this baby by the hand. Walk! And the mother was looking. He has never walked before! I said, okay. Sight. Watch this. The devil likes drama. Don't ever allow him to do it. Something has happened in the meet that meeting. I'm going to come to him. Don't worry, I've not forgotten him. <laughs> so there was a woman who said she matched poison. Then she cannot stand up. Small problem. Small problem. So he was looking at me. Oh, I've trained myself. We walk by faith and not by sight. Please, faith is not, it will grow. Uh -uh. We operate by the faith of the Son of God that can never Watch this. So this woman has not been able to walk for a long while. If you can't walk for a long while, you have been used to support. I'm coming somewhere. When you are used to something, you must be weaned away from it. And it takes force. You're used to begging. A time comes when you have to tell yourself, enough is enough. 
But if you can't tell yourself it's enough, force will be used to take it from you. So there was this woman, while I was busy ministering to other people, give me chair. Stop! Don't give her any chair. Don't give her any chair! Okay, she stood up. On Sunday, when this woman came to church, how many of us was in church on Sunday? See the woman walking, coming to church. Old woman, he says she wants to come to church like a babe. That they should give her handbag. So I said, see this woman. Yesterday, give me a chair. Give me a chair. If I had allowed her to sit down, she would go back to the same circle. May God bring people around you that will see where you ought to be. Even when I can't take it to man. We're pressed at all fronts. We felt like giving up. But we learned not to rely on ourselves. But we chose to rely on the God who raises men from the dead. Watch this. All this man needs to do is to believe that I have what it takes to bring him out. Right? That's all. I'm not asking him anything. And then secondly, me, I don't need his faith. Mine is enough. See, you know, we are clapping. This is what happens every time. Pastor, is it a pain meal? Once in the heart. Submit to God. Resist the devil. And he will do what? That's all. That's all. That's all. Say to yourself, God is loyal. As we close, listen. The day you got born again, God swore to an oath to always be good to you. Always. Maybe you don't know what it means. It is called his mercy. When you read Psalm 23, it says, Surely his goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Even when you're sitting on the ground. Please listen. If I don't know what the mercy of God can do, I can have it, but can't engage it. It says, Surely his goodness and his mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Please listen. The mercy of God, as we note in English, does not capture the exact essence of what it meant when they use that word. When they use that word, it's the same thing as God's loving kindness. David said, your loving kindness is stronger than life. In other words, there's nothing life can throw at my part. That your loving kindness cannot defend me out of. The loving kindness of God will bring about a bailout. When there is no physical evidence to make it happen. The loving kindness of God. Is God's loyalty towards his covenant partner. Abraham's servant. Understood. The subject. He was sent on a job, on a task to go bring wife for his master's son. I want you to imagine someone calls you, um, um, go to Obubra, go and find wife for my son. Sir, when we go to Obubra, where do we start from? Which compound? Just enter Obubra. Obubra, sir, you are here. I came for to give um, my master. First, you know it's stupid, right? Please, let me share this with you. God does not deprive you from the use of your brain. So even when you are reading this scripture, please use your brain. Uh -huh. so now when he says go find wife for my son how was he going to do it that's why the man said sir have you considered that it might not work all this while you are just talking to wife 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 wife, wife. Abraham told him let me tell you something 
the God who brought me out of my father's house will send his angels ahead of you. Abraham was speaking scripture for me. If he gets to the point where it seems impossible, angels will come in. So now, this man, please listen, because this is where most of us feel, fall off. Pastor, this is just saying his own. No? He's just saying his own. Me, I'm a realist. Oh God, with your realist, have you noticed that you are crawling? Okay. Is it that this age I will be dreaming? Oh God, you have a window that can change everything for you. Watch this. Now, this man says, God, let's pray now. Give my master your loving kindness because he knows that this is the grounds for you to be loyal to most my master so in other words they had heard abraham talk about this thing so much that his servant knows that ah, last last if i don't know any other thing about this god and my master at least i know that him and god they are five and six so god <laughs> on the grounds of this your loving kindness make my journey successful today oh. Look, God would arise. God will never decline any cry for mercy. Particularly when the person understands it. The race of life is not unto whom that wills. The race of life is not unto whom that runs. It's unto whom that God shows mercy. The race of life is not unto whom that plants the most. There are some people who have planned everything to the T. Day one, they have not been able to lift their leg. This race of life is not unto whom that plants. Does it mean planning is bad? Absolutely no. Absolutely planning is excellent. But let mercy underget it. The race of life is not unto whom that knows certain people. Can I say this to you? Human beings are funny. Uh, when it gets to that time, call me. I will assist you. How many of us have been disappointed and the person stopped picking your calls? <laughs> Pastor, that man is my mother's younger brother. What you don't understand is this. This race of life is not unto him that runs. So if the mercy of God doesn't come over that relationship, the man can forget. And not only forget, he not even pick your calls. And you know what? The enemy wants you to be offended. And once you are offended, focus broken. Now we are not dealing with offense. All the church people, even that pastor, are saying, Dale, I'm off church. I'm going to be online where I will not see anybody. <laughs> Sister, you need people. The devil is only playing a bad card with you. Are we speaking now? Uh -huh. From the ashes of your despair, God is going to bring the miraculous. He's going to bring the miraculous. Hallelujah. Please know this. When you engage the loving kindness of God, begin to speak it forth. Father, I thank you that you would never leave me nor forsake me. Father, I thank you that your mercy comes true for me. My mind could not have accepted it before, but my mind accepts it that because of your loving kindness, nothing is impossible. Because of your loving kindness, the very things they mocked me of, I have it in my hands. Do you know how many services I began to declare those things? We we'll have those things in my hands. Some people did not know I was doing it. Because I know many people who sat in concert had innocence projects. Oh God, it wasn't about your voice. A thousand Sambalat and Tobias can never stop that which God has ordained. So if you sat down at the Sambalat and Tobias, I don't have anything against you. It was the Sambalat and Tobias, even if a fox push this project, it will scatter. That was in that time. I'm lucky. Is it this kind of time when I rise, just going anyhow, anyhow, anyhow? Are we talking now? 
because we know we need to be, you know, because you know, let's be real. <laughs> Uh, my first taste of the miraculous power of God I'll tell you I washed my clothes on a Friday everything apart from the one that was I was wearing And I washed them and I kept them outside. And I was praying and fasting for a mighty breakthrough. And while I was praying, thunder. Is that it really? So I said, Oh God, God, please let me go outside and remove my clothes and come back with the prayer. He said, No. I said, why? He said, mm -mm. I want you to watch and see how I operate. I said, sir, let me remove clothes. We can be here till tomorrow morning. He said, no. If you break this focus, it might take you years to come back here. So I said, okay, okay. Since you are God, just be God now. I surrender. And I laid on the floor for over 40 minutes. What was I doing? Just exalting the almightiness of God. Sincerely, at that point, I'd reached the position where, God, if you don't come through, you could meet me here. If you don't get to that position, eh, the miraculous can kick in. I was lying down on the floor. Then I heard a knock on my door. Ah! And I was like, whoo! And this fellow said, when it started raining, I heard, go to pastor's house now. To do what? He said, I was just there at the junction. At the point I started running. When I ran, I knocked at the gate. There was nobody. I went to the back and I saw clothes that had been freshly washed. I took each one, folded them in the basin, and I hope I heard a voice inside praying. And when I asked her, what time did you come here? That was the time I was struggling with that word. Should I go and should I not come? Your obedience is the catalyst. I was standing there and he said, listen, I can summon anybody. Anybody. And I looked at this person. You have not been to my house for God knows how long. He said, all I need you to do is just, you keep my word. And I begin to rearrange the circumstances and the events. Look, instead of putting pressure on people, put pressure on the word. One of the things that has kept this house the people who don't make any pledge. They are the people who end up doing it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Jeremiah 32, verse 40. This one is the ace card. So the next time you begin to sing, from everlasting to everlasting, I will praise you forever. The question I want to ask you, do you know what you are singing? I will praise you forever and forever, forever. Hey! Do you know what you are saying? <laughs> I will make what? With them. I will do good for them only on Sunday. What? What? No. He will do good for you only when you do good to him. Can he do good to you today? Okay, can we be bold to anticipate it? 
Uh -huh. Because first, if I don't believe that there's a covenant like this, I could be singing, I will praise you forever. I'm intentional about it because I understand there's a covenant that's forever. It must come to force. Boldness is a product of what you know. You know. Please, back to you. Are you a man? Are you sure? Are you sure you're a man? Please come. come. Are you sure you're a man? You sure? Suppose I tell you you're a woman. No, I, I'm just telling you that you're a woman. You can't buy that. You know, if I keep saying that, the point you will just stop and say, please, pastor, this conversation is enough. You know what? You are emphasizing who you are. Please, do you know who you are? Because when you face a challenge, it's a time to tell the devil and the circumstance who you are. So come back, sir. Are you sure you're a man? Absolutely. Besides being a man, who else are you? Yes, son of God. Being a son of God doesn't have any implication. So, what are some of the implications of being a son of God? I know you do. What kind of authority do you have? Okay, you have all authority over all the work of darkness, including the one that kept you on the ground, including that one. So, what were you waiting for me? You understand now? I caught some people. Pastor, we are waiting on God. Oh. Why you see here? I'm waiting for God to tell me the job. Sir, that's not the way it works. Take the action of what you know. Step out. Look, you don't have a job beginning from tomorrow. Dress up at exactly 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm speaking to a particular person. Dress up at exactly 8 o'clock in the morning. Carry yourself. You know what it means? You're giving action to what you know. God will bring corresponding actions. Hey, Pastor, we don't get work now. So we just lie down with a play video game. We're watching movies. It never do you. <laughs> Pastor, I don't have work. Give yourself a free service go to somewhere and tell them I'm offering myself. It is better to give. A couple came in here. Pastor, I said, calm down, calm down. In this place, we bring the supernatural over the natural. I said, you know what you do? Go to Transcorp. Tell them I'm offering myself as an accountant for free. He said, Really? We won't pay you. So no problem. I'm cool. She was doing it for the first one month. The gem called her. Come, come. You know, been watching you. I'm going to write a recommendation. This place can't pay you what I expect they should pay you. I'm going to write a recommendation. Go to social and some place. They were paying her three times what they were, should have paid her there. And today she works with a UK firm. He said the recommendation of that GM every time I take it anywhere. The question is like, ha, who recommended you like this? God has people who have authority, who have access. All they need to do is just say some things about you and doors will just start opening. Are we together now? Somebody said there's an everlasting covenant <laughs> over my life that can never fail. That can never fail. Say it again. There's an everlasting covenant. Over my life. Over the work of my hands. Stretch out your hands. Say to yourself. There's an everlasting covenant. Over the work of my hands. That can never fail. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord Jesus. Please listen to this. This is important. Whenever you hold on to God's word. You hold on to God's word. The next thing he will do is he will instruct you. 
He will tell you, go in this direction. Do it in this direction. I just told someone now, dress up in the morning. That's instruction for somebody. It might not apply to you, but that's instruction for the person. As you follow that instruction, without any sense of fear and shame, the supernatural will kick in. A man has been looking for admission and the pastor gave a prophetic word that it will happen with ease. <laughs> the man said, Pastor, nobody's there to help me. Say, you know what you do? Admission does not come in church. Go to the university and stand there. The guy said he went the first day. He came back. He went the second day, he came back. The pastor said, go back there. I said so. On the seventh day, he said he stood there. A man stopped with his son in the car. I said, young man, what are you doing here? He said, I'm going into main campus. He said, hop in. He said, while they were there, the man and his, the man's son and himself were just having a wonderful conversation, talking. Oh, where are you going to? He said, I'm going for economics department. And I said, that's the same department I'm going to. And when they got to the department, man entered and said to his friend, these are my sons. And he said, no problem. He said, keep them outside. Well, let's talk. While they finished the conversation, he said, uh, sir, can you call the first boy that entered? The first one that entered. He said, no problem. He called him. And uh, when he entered, he said, you know, for this year, we have just only one slot that we can give. The man said, no problem. So I would prefer we give it to this one first. So the man was trying to explain that he's not really mine. <laughs> no, he didn't catch it. He said, no, the one outside. The one outside. He said, but you told me that both of them are your sons. And no, you don't get it. When we're coming, when we just come here, I picked him. I picked him from the... He said, no, no, no problem, no problem. The one outside will wait till the next session. So the guy sat down, the guy packed his stuff, banged the door, and walked away. And that fellow said, for four years that I was in that university, I never paid accommodation. I stayed in the house of the man who was sitting in front of me. And the man asked me a question. Young man, who are you? He said, sir, that man picked me from the road. <laughs> he said, really? He said, yes. He said, I thought the man was joking. He said, you mean you had the audacity? He said, why did you do that? He said, sir, <laughs> I knew God would show up. How he would show up, I did not know. But I know that I will not stand for too long. He said, I stood here and the man was the one that stopped. I didn't stop him. He's the man that told me to enter. I entered. I was having conversation with his son and I saw him tell you that I'm his son. I can't tell him no. And the man said, I like your boldness. You know what? I know you don't have accommodation, but I'm going to give you my BQ. He said, for four years, I stayed there. Can I announce to you, favor is not fair. He that knew no sin became sin for us. So don't tell me favor is fair. Pastor, it's not fair now. It's not fair. She didn't realize I said, oh God, because of you, they will cancel the interview that has been done and repeat it until the rightful person is taken. Over time, 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 over time. This is my prayer. No devil will kill your motivation in the morning. You know what motivation means? That sense of it can be done. You know you can wake up in the morning, your motivation is already poisoned. Uh, I beg, I'm just tired. 
I bet today, I bet today, 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 today. And let me give me, give me, give me, give me. Something has happened internally. Watch this. The miraculous takes place from inside to outside. You know, you can be on the bed. The devil is whispering to you, Why do you want to wake up this early? Amen, Hebra. Stay, stay now. Mm. There are four ways the devil attacks the motivations of people. Number one is fear. Number two is a discouraging word. This surgery you are going for, 99% of people do survival. Watch this. If you're believing God for the supernatural, don't watch any video. Don't listen to anything that contradicts what you're looking for. From the moment you watch that video, you will become double-minded. Sir, I was just watching for information. I, I want to know what the thing is because I need knowledge. You don't need it. A double-minded man cannot receive anything from the Lord. The next thing the devil uses to attack the motivations of people is boredom. There are many people today who have become yoked to pornography. I was just, I was just flipping through my phone. Then before you know it, you go again. You go again. The eyes is a gate. Now, so that your wife does not catch you, you go to the car. Watch this. Today you are coming out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's something I'm waiting for you to say, sir. If you say it, I will leave you. You see, my guy. Have you ever heard that now, verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming. And now is where the Son of God shall cry to Jehovah. Now, they shall say to this death thing. And the death thing will hear and will refuse. Who born that nail? <laughs> Look, a carpenter told me something. He said, Pastor, that's the man that taught me how to use the name of Jesus. I was trying to fix a nail into my house and every time I tried to drive it, the nail would bend. It would bend. So I had to call the carpenter. The carpenter said, Pastor, this is not your work. You now, Pastor. Me now, carpenter. Give me that hammer. Now who born that nail? He said, even if I'm sleeping, when you give me the hammer, I don't need to look twice. When I knock in head, he go enter. So I was watching this guy. I gave him my hammer. He picked it. And the guy did drama. He threw it up. Picked it. Pa! One, two. He said, Pastor, I know tell you. Okay, give me another nail. Treat up again. Cut it. When you have mastery, you can be very confident. Ha! Ah. So I was watching this guy and then the Holy Ghost was talking to me. He said, did you notice this guy? Even when he's hungry, he told you he will pick the nail. He said, you, with all you have, you are thinking about yourself. Will he walk? Will he not walk? A double-minded man. I said, okay. I think I know now. The devil won't cheat me again. Because it's not about my ability. It's about his ability. So I take away the confidence from myself, put it on him. And guess what? <clears throat> so the first time I saw a condition, I said, you will not try me again. In the name of Jesus! Pastor, not in Sheku. The case was like that. But this time, I was not discouraged. You know, I was not discouraged. I had learned from the Bible that when Jesus spoke to the fig tree, the fig tree was still standing. But the action was already happening in the root. Some of you have spoken to the root. But after a while, it did work. 
And the devil knows that once you come back, you're double-minded. I never pray for anybody. Is it working? I simply walk off. Because it's not about me. Power has been released. So come. Son of God. So what are we going to speak to now? No, 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 no. You don't behave like a church man. Let's start it. What are we going to speak to now? You know what? This is how we behave. <laughs> okay, let me try something with you. Give me a bottle of water. Catch it. Give back to me. Do you know what you have just done? Okay. Catch it. Give it back to me. Do you know what you have just done? Do you know what you have just done? Catch it. Give it back to me. Point one, there's something I'm coming to give back to me. Have you ever read He that gives a cup of water? Do you know what you have just done? You have permitted yourself to enjoy my access. So even if your access was blocked, my access can take care of it. So you know what? You didn't understand what I was doing. With this one alone, even if they were harassing you, all the devils in your village were harassing you. Just this alone will change the course of action. You know why I'm saying this one? Sometimes we don't even know the tools that are available to us. I'm not telling you, come and give me, um, you know, pure water. <laughs> because they demonstrated in church. So, Pastor, catch it. I know some people. I, uh, Pastor, this is for you. This is my water for you. May you keep your water for yourself. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Okay, catch it. Give it back to me. Did you notice what he has done? What did he do now? Did you know what he did? What did he do? Okay, watch it again. It will minister to someone. Bring it. Give it to me. What is he doing now? What? What? <laughs> Listen. You see what he just done now? It's called H-O-N-O-U-R. Oh no. Once you attach it to any gift, it will transfer it from just an ordinary thing and take it beyond that point. Some people are very dishonorable. Pastor! Come into my car, come and take that thing I kept for you. Are we speaking now? Uh -huh. Give it to me. I'm going to come somewhere. Pastor, what's Pastor doing all this thing for? I told you from the beginning, for the next 10 weeks, it's going to be teaching and the prophetic. If you catch it, things are just opening up. There's something you could do. Just need that. I would push the case further now. You know what he's doing? He's opening himself for the really deceit. I might not even say anything. I might not even say anything. I might even just pass him. The access I have is enough to change it. That was what Elisha did for the Shunammite woman. The Shunammite woman did not pray. She wanted to push for victory. She just offered Elijah house. Elijah called his servant. Come, come. Hey boy. What about this family? Sir. That man is old. Number two. The woman has no child. Okay. Call the woman for me. Madam. 
Sir, I've learned how to live without my child. Don't worry me, please. It's okay. It's okay. If it's money, I have. <laughs> Elijah said, listen, listen, listen. It's not about what you ask for. You gave me action and reaction. By this same time of life, next year, did it happen? It was not about the woman. It was all about Elisha and the access he had to God. Are we together now? Thank you, sir. So place a demand. Anything. Anything. Anything, sir. I'm asking you anything. <laughs> what? The hunger and the passion for souls. Okay. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bring a release now. Thank you, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. Please listen. I know many pastors have abused this. I'm aware. They abuse it. The pastor is hungry. He just uses it to collect money from people. But at the end of it all, there is still the essence of it. It cannot be rubbished. It's true. Very true. It can bring for access on a media ground. Sir, is there scripture to support it? If you read Matthew chapter 10, verse 40, it is there. A man was bedridden, <laughs> could not walk. And this man wanted something that would happen in his life. The man that was going to go and pray did not want to go. You know when you want to go to somewhere, you know that this guy is a very nasty person, he talks anyhow. And then the Lord said to him, when you go to the man's house, tell him to give you a cup of water. So the man said, Honey, honey, bring water for pastor. You, Get up and get the water for me. It will be hard though. You see, get up. It is the honor dimension that matters. The man got up. Oh. Uh, uh, and finally brought the water and gave to the man. And the man said, you know what I told you to do it? You just passed the test. Now ask me anything. And the man said, anything can you get God to heal me this is a done deal so what do I need to do stand up the man said immediately hey, just stood up so the man was not trying to hold himself he said don't hold the chair as he has stood up walk and the man started walking and his wife and all the children were on the other side of the door. The man did not know how he ran to the embrace of his wife. And the man said, that's all. He said, you know why? All that was restraining you, you just gave room to break open for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Within the next 10 weeks, in this house, we're going to hear testimonies you've never heard before. Testimonies that are just way out, way out. Praying with the foundation school people yesterday, I began to ask them questions. I said, How many of you want land? They could up and say, Land. <laughs> so, how many of us want to be landlords in this house? How many? 
do you understand English? I should speak your dialect. Uncountable. Wait, 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 wait. You know when we are children, that's when we use the word uncountable. When you grow up, you must be specific. So you want one for starters. Maybe five. Are you a student? What do you do? A core member here. If you see your house, can you identify it? The kind of house you're talking about. If you see it, if you if, you, if I take you to a street, you can point that is the house. Can you point it? If you see the kind of house, the design and everything. Good. I want to tell you something that happened in this house. The person is watching someone in you who said the same thing and his boss said to him, go and collect something some of our customers are giving to me as a parting gift. He went on behalf of his boss somewhere to collect land papers. When he gets there, the chief asks him, you, don't you want land? He was looking at himself. Just like that. From today, your presence will command attention. Your presence will command approval. Your presence will command assistance. He said the man was just asked, he was just watching. The man called somebody. Hey, come, 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 come. Write his name. Deed of gift. He said, sir. Write his name. What's your name? him, I said, when the miraculous starts working, just make sure you're inside the flow. <laughs> you can identify the house. Okay. Have you ever heard in the scripture says you will live in houses you did not build? Because some people are wondering, what is it time to talk about? So hold on to that word. I want to share something with you and I'll pray with you. Because I saw your excitement. Because there's something about excitement when the word comes. Not, oh, let's see how it goes. Uh -huh. My friend, as a pastor, wanted to live in a particular location. You know, when you have that location in mind. But cash didn't make it happen. So but inside of his heart, he knew that that location is where he would go to. So one day he took himself, his wife, and his son. After Sunday service, they were driving past the street. Their son just woke up. Daddy, there's a house! He said, he looked at him. Sleep there! Sleep, sleep! Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, God will open. He said, sleep, sleep! He said, Daddy, that is the house. He said, Which house did you see? He said, they stopped. You know when you look at the house and you look at yourself, you remember your account as the man is scratching his head. Then he saw the full number of an agent. The agent tells him the price. The son was still excited. Daddy, this is the house! This is the house! Shut up there. I think his children's play were playing here. May you begin to dream like a child again. May you begin to dream like a child again. Oh, did you know? Jesus said, if you will come in with that simple faith of a child. And the man was wondering. He said, the owner of this house says he will want to meet every prospective person. So he says, okay, what's the man's number? Picks the number. And the man says, please, can you identify who you are? And the man goes, I'm so, so, I'm so person. The man stops. Can you come over to my house? I live in so, so, and so place. And the man gets there. He says, young man, we made a vow to God when this house was being built that we're going to dedicate this house to God. And we're going to give it to a pastor. So the minute you walked in, I knew you were the one. Hey, my friend was, oh, Jesus. I said, you know what? No, no, to God are all his ways 
before the foundations of the world. And the man said, well, I need to call my wife in the UK to let her know that what we've spoken to God 15 years ago has come to pass. Did you pay the, landlord, the agent any money? He says, I only just gave him agency fees. He said, allow that fly. From now on, deal with me. Your first rent is down payment for this house. Go and structure how the remaining part will be paid. My friend said, sir? He said, there's nothing to say sir for. The house is now yours. If you see the house, will you identify it? Do you have a phone, the phone in your picture on your phone? Go and bring it because that's how we know. You know what I'm doing? Preparing you for the next 10 weeks. Don't come to church unprepared. Don't come and do anyanya. Don't come and be a spectator. Be a party. Te pasadaya. You know, if I were you, hmm? <laughs> I would challenge God now. And who don't be you now? Okay, get your paper. Write what you know cannot happen by your own strength in the next 10 weeks. On that paper. And yesterday, a guy met me, says, sir, <laughs> I was sitting down there, and when you said that thing, I wrote on my paper. <laughs> Say, sir, everything I wrote on my paper, I fulfilled it. So I'm not making it empty statements. What you know within your own abilities can never happen in 10 weeks. Please, only one, only one. I didn't tell you to write 10. I know some people are writing 15. Only one. Follow instruction, follow instruction. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift it up. Say this to me in the name of Jesus. Under this atmosphere under this atmosphere I know anything is possible according to your word what I'm holding on to right now is according to your righteous standard I know you will not steal from anyone to make this happen with the work of my hands with the work of my hands and with my connection to the grace of God as I engage the loving kindness of God Holy Spirit, the wisdom and the favor of God to make this happen. I'm open to it. In the name of Jesus. Just put your hands here. Both of them. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release this day the grace of God for that which cannot be explained by the human mind. Beginning from today, you will meet people that will say things that will blow your mind. The fear of any man seeking to take advantage of you is never going to happen. Nobody will try it. Anybody that seeks to take advantage of you, that person is going to be in a bad shape. Bad shape. Bad shape. This is my charge to you. Will you follow the instructions that God will give to you beginning from today? It's not by power. It's not by might. It is by His Spirit. Thank you, Lord. If there's any person here, please quickly, you have a health condition while we stand. It's not going to take up to two seconds. You have a health condition. Things are not well with your health while we stand up. Just lift up your hand wherever you are. Yes, come. Come. 
There's a particular woman that has ovarian cysts. Come here. Please, while you watch all those people, place a demand. I was talking with those folks yesterday. I said, the, the realm of the spirit walks with supply and demand. Any person here with diabetes related matters go to the side. Any person that has anything to do with diabetes go this way. Hey, madam, my friend. Yeah, morning, how are you? You're here again. <laughs> I like my friend in the call me say, Pastor, just give me final touch. <laughs> Mama, he say, give me final touch. I want to be babe again. And I told myself, I said, goodness me, oh God, make this old man become babe. <laughs> okay. Okay. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command that diabetes and everything related with it. Go! I command your sugar level be restored back. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 Yes. Obedience. Come this way. Give me that napkin on the top of that, please. When was the last time you did the test? Two, three weeks ago. Today's the four things, right? So, I want you to go back there, go do the test. Put your hands here. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release the flow now. Take it. I command the ceased, dematerialized, dissolve. No side effects. You will conceive without any kind of limitation. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Internal heat. I want you to just place this over your forehead. And repeat this after me right now. Every form of internal heat is dissolved. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The glory of this temple flows now in the name of Jesus. Thank you. So how is it now? You feel good. Good. Yes, sir. Which side of the roof? No problem. Come this way. When did you do the test? Two years ago. Okay. After today, this is your first time here? Your first time? So please do me the favor. Go to the test tomorrow on Wednesday or better still Sunday. I need you back here. Just place your hands here. I command the growth, dissolve, dematerialize, no side effect. In the name of our Lord Jesus, thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I'm not the one. It's the person on the phone. What's it about this fellow? Well, I was complaining of water in the chest, but they've done the surgery, but there's nothing there. Water in his chest? Yes. Okay. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command a draining of every fluid in his chest region right now. I command it be drained. No side effects. The breathing is restored in the name of Jesus. Yes. Also, uh, please on this way. Just put your hands here. Say this with me in the name of Jesus. 
My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead is at work in me right now. Right now, I walk in a clean bill of health from my, the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. In the name of Jesus, I command every wounded part of your intestines be healed now. From today, you will eat those foods that you couldn't eat before with ease. In the name of Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I I have a, I have been having chest pain for a while. Okay. And then yesterday night I couldn't sleep. I just found out I had a swelling in the no middle. No problem, of no problem. Come. Please come. Just hold this and please sit with your two hands. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command the swelling dematerialize dissolve no side effect in the name of our Lord Jesus I bring you the kingdom of God thank you Lord thank you Lord I command every pain associated with it lift now go in the name of Jesus thank you thank you Lord 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 yes I said it's called uh, gastritis and ulcer. Oh, sir, no problem. Thank you. Just place your hands here. Yeah. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak healing over every lacerated part of your intestines. I command it be healed now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir? Neck pain. Neck pain? Yes. Okay. Whenever it comes, I feel a lot of pressure around my Okay, head. no problem. Do you know the exact part? Okay, just put it at the back. Yes, sir. Put your hands there. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command the pain, go! Take your hands off and just turn your head. Turn your neck. Feel better. Thank you. Yes. Three Sundays ago, you prophesied that the following Sunday, this leg will be opened, the whole world will see it, and it will go. I came to testify that it is true. Praise God. This woman reminds me of that woman in the cup. That woman just wouldn't let go. Sorry, I'm going to come back to you. Please permit my excitement tonight. Okay? I'm excited because the first time I saw this woman, she seemed to have all the wahala. Ayo, bodio. Then the day she raised up the bandage. Man. So, madam. She's smiling. Hey! <laughs> so tell me what happened. So please help out with the microphone. Praise the Lord. Ma, please let them remove the long on your on your uh, hand. Yes, yeah. It's gone. I don't used to open it like this. Look at how I'm opening it with speed, no pains, nothing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 It was eating me up. Oh, but look at what God has done. I can play football, I can jump with it. I could not touch it like this. Oh, God of group, look at you here. Yeah. In my life, I praise you. I worship you in spirit and in truth. I will remain worshiping you. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
What is it now? My dad also last week he was diagnosed of being HIV positive. Lift up your hands. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release right now over your father and your brothers the delivering power of Jesus. Right now, I break the yoke of death over your household. Every appointment with death, I overturn it. I overturn that judgment over your father's health. I overturn it now. I evoke the release of a clean bill of health over your father. In the name of our Lord Jesus, every symptom around him that has caused source of worries, loss of weight, I command it be reversed now for your brother. Day by day, health flows. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come this way. Please, can you help me get that? To your scarf. When was it you confirmed it? Last year. Are you scared to go do another test? It's been growing. It's been what? Growing. Mm -hmm. So it's bigger than it was when I first did the test. Okay. When was the last test? That should be early last year. No problem. Tied around this woman. Yeah. Allow her try it up. Every day is going to dry back. I speak to your skin condition. Skin be restored back there. The same way you restored back Naaman's skin, like that of a baby. Restore back skin back there. Thank you, Lord. 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 Yes. Look at me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Look at me. Look at me. I command that growth. That fibroid growth. Dissolve. Now. In the name of our Lord Jesus. I break the grip of that spirit of infirmity. Over you. Thank you. I bring you life. I command it to flow to every part of your being. I command it to flow to every part of your being. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Yes, ma. Ovarian cyst and fibroid. Come this. It's the first time here. Your first time? Seven years ago. Why did you come today? Someone told you to come. I came to visit my friend, so I came to church with her. With her. Who is she? Oh my goodness. Get me that stuff. Where's that stuff? Bring it. What is it, sir? It has one kidney what? Kidney has failed. This kidney has failed. Where is he right now? He's in Lagos. He's in Lagos. Yes. Okay. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I break the grip of this foul spirit over your, your friend. I command every dysfunction over the kidney right now. I command it be restored. I command the swelling, go! From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, I release the healing power of God. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Cervical spondylosis. At the back, right? Okay, can you place your hand so that this lady can help you? Just show her the place. Okay, don't worry. Just put your hand, just show her where the place is. Can you turn, ma'am? Just turn. 
It's painful when you sit, right? When you sit. Yes, I'm doing this train not so much. Like what? If I stand for too long. Like how long? Like 30 minutes. 30 minutes, what else? If I do any strenuous work. Your destiny is sister. Hmm? Are you related to destiny? No. Okay. Okay. What else you, you could not do before? I can't um I can't do any serious work. I'm you just, can bend. Yes. I can Fine, bend. no problem. So please just put your hand exactly where the place is. Turn your back. Turn your back, man. I command this condition over your spine. Lose yourself now. I release the healing power of God over every portion of your being. Every pain associated with this condition. Go, lift, lift, just go, go, lift. Drop your hands. How does it feel? What? I feel better. Okay. Can you bend for me? Okay, another one. Okay, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release this woman every money that has been spent over this condition I command the restoration back money has been spent over this condition I command the restoration back over it in the name of our Lord Jesus hey man don't cry God is a good God is a faithful God hallelujah yes please get that cloth for me just put it around this woman. What's that? Sir? What's that? Oh, you're that. Don't worry, I'm coming back to this. I'm going back to this. I'm coming back to this. Look at me. Just put your hands here. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command the release. I command the release of life. I command that ovarian seas hear the name the word of the Lord you groove I speak to you die I command you dissolve from your roof I release life I speak to those fibro growth demand to realize now dissolve I release life I release life I release life everything associated with this condition be gone in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Asthma since I was a child. Oh, you pardon me, what? Asthma. Oh. Where's your inhaler? What was it you could not do before? I can't fry. You can what? Fry. Fry, what else? I can't be in a dusty environment. Okay, what else? I can't you be can in run. an environment. Yeah, I can't run. You can run. I can't partake in. Um, extracurricular activities like football and everything. What's your name? Prince Will. What? Prince Will. Prince Will. You're gonna run now. You ready? <laughs> See this one? I don't pray. Turn your back. It's all yours. As far as the heavens stand, <laughs> stand above the earth, you are exalted. Unlimited God. As far as the heavens stand, stand above the earth, you are exalted. <laughs> I restore your breath back, Prince Will. I drive down foul speed. Leave!
she will tell me what happened. Please. Please let me get me. Look at me, Prince William. Don't cry. Don't worry. Look at me. Get me a bottle of water. Just take a go. Thank you. Just look at me, please. Just look at me, okay? I just won't come back, okay? You're so scared. What are you afraid of? Tell me. What are you scared of? I'm afraid to die. Oh, goodness me. You're afraid of what? Can I share something with you? Would you listen to me? Okay. I used to be so scared, right? That anytime I get in the car, that I will not come out. I mean it, Prince Will. I dare not sleep in a car because of the fear that if I sleep, I might never come back. It was bad. I didn't know how many times I was insulted in the car because of that fear, but I carried it for years. Other people tell me it's just it was my own fear. I would be inside the car. There are times you, you don't my my my, my, my it, at least I had my my life in my teeth. That one day God showed me his word that when Jesus died, right? When he died, one of the things he did was to go into hell and to deliver all those all through their lifetime when the bondage of the fear of death. Prince Will, I did not know that thing was in the Bible. They didn't tell me. Because for years, I was carrying it on my own. I saw Jesus had delivered me from it. So I asked myself, so if Jesus delivered me from the fear of death, then why am I so scared? Prince Will, that was the day I found my victory. After then, I took a trip. I slept for four hours. Look, I dare not sleep. When the vehicle is going, ha, my mind, all kinds of things. So are you better now? Hmm? <laughs> so this, just look how devil just harass you, find boy like you. So are you still scared that you will die? Answer now. No. Why are you not scared that you will die? Because I have authority over death. What? Because I have authority over death. So, do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, sir. You do? Yes, sir. Okay, do you believe he went to hell? Yes, sir. And part of the things he did in hell was to free us. You know what I used to tell myself? This is my own way I joke with myself. I said my number was 314. Of those people who were perpetually, all through their lifetime, because my own, hey, inside the car, ah, hey, hey, this might be the last. You know, I carried it with my own way. Some people might be laughing that they won't have their own fear. Hey, maybe we not die, oh. But you know what? When I found out that truth, man, I just entered the vehicle, removed my shoe, I slip off. You know why? Because I know that he satisfied my mouth with long life. Cool off, right? So you see, scared. Mm. You know what? And some people like that. Oh, pastor, see the way, see the way he's shaking. Give him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Nah, I know my job. 
<laughs> Prince, we take some water or we're going to do the last lap. H a part time. Calm down now. Relax, Oga. This is your father, right? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command the pain and discomfort associated with him on all sides. Be gone. I lose the grip of prostate cancer. I command it go now. I release life. I release life over your father from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Don't worry. This is the first time you're going to sleep without any stress. You will sleep very, very well tonight, my brother. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Can you take your glasses off? Just come. Give him the bottle. Just stretch out your hands. Just embrace me. I release life. I release life. Flow! Hey. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay. Just move this way. favor right please I need you to help me I don't know how much this woman has spent I'm not asking you to give her any money we're going to stretch out our hands that all that has been removed from this woman from the day this thing started a double will be restored back to her come stand here stretch out just lift up your hands I want you to stretch out your hands towards her and let's just pray that the double will come. A double will come. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you for confirming your word with great signs and wonders following. In the name of Jesus. Every walk of darkness that was intended to take your life will reverse it. If anybody that was in doubt about what God can do, when they look at you, complete from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, your testimony. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, our time is fast spent. Please listen. Every week, for the next 10 weeks please listen we're going to be seeing things that are just way out the day I told those women that she was going to lose in that wound I just said it and I walked away Abby you saw it this is just child's play complete child's play this next 10 weeks amazing things not only immediate to healing amazing breakthroughs things that have been long standing you see results. Then besides the please listen. Every week, we're going to give room for five people, five people, to just participate financially. To do what? Concerning this building. This is the instruction. Every week, every week, every Sunday, we just do that. No pressure, no force. 
you want to, good. If you don't want to, sit down. But I want to say this. There are things I don't do because I know God's call upon my life. So I understand. So if you believe that this is the season that your heart has been yearning for, there are things that your heart is yearning for. You don't even understand how it will happen. But I know that this is a window for this house. The next 10 weeks, amazing. What do we want? Each person, a millionaire, I'm going to pray. For just five. But if you say, Luko, I want to join with 500,000. That's your own side. Nobody's going to force you. Nobody. But one thing is certain. The thing can never come back. Lift up your hands. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of the living God, bring about a rearrangement of people, circumstances, events, just to confirm your word. The same way you spoke to me on the 12th of April, saying the window is now open. Whosoever, whosoever will jump in first. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Put on. Please listen. If you're one of those five persons, after the service, see me because our time is spent. Please sit down. If you're here in church for the very first time, This is not a usual meeting. We promise we will not do this all the time. If you're here for the very first time, please can you come forward? I'm going to personally receive you. Especially, this is your first time in church. And I'm going to pray for all of you. Please come. Your first day in church. Please come. for you. Just come. Your first time I'll come. Come. This is not how we normally do it. Today is just exceptional. Come. Come. Two of you come. I'll wait. Come. After the adjustment, just come and meet me now. Come. You are two of you. Come. Hey, Fasatalamaya. <clears throat> you made up your mind you will not come okay what's your name sir Frank what do you do what kind of business you sell electronics which part of the city what okay you were based in Cameroon you are back in Nigeria what's, what's you what do you do? 
a data scientist. Okay. You? What's your name? And who? Obodo. Where, what do you do? A student, Unical, final year, 300 level. What's your name? Chisum. What do you do? What kind of business? What? Drinks and beverage. Bidimi. Udeme. What do you do? What? You work where? In the nursery school. How long have you been working? Six what? Thank you. How long? Six years. Same school. As what? Okay, listen to me. Today is the 14th, right? 14th. You're going to be put in the place where you rightly belong. You're going to teach the school in one of the classes. You have served at that position. It's at six years or so. I'm going to pray that there's going to be a twist in events. And you'll be brought to teach us in the class. Are we good? We're good. Hold my hand. I release you now. The same diligence with which you have approached everything you have done in the past. Father, we thank you for your rewarder. See that a man that is diligent over the work of his hands. That man will not stand before men, men will stand before kings and princes. Spirit of the living God, do what you're famous for. Reposition. Supernaturally. In the name of Jesus. Place your hands here. I bring the action of the Holy Ghost over the work of your hands. I command an unusual patronage. I command an unusual patronage to come. In the name of our Lord Jesus, place your hands here. I decree over you an unusual level of wisdom and understanding to tackle matters. In all matters of wisdom and understanding which you'll be examined, you'll be found to be 10 times better than your peers. You always wake up knowing exactly what to do. Your use of your time will be so accurate and so productive in the name of Jesus. Put your hands here, sir. I decree this day the same way Bezalel and Aholiab were given so much understanding concerning the work of your hands. Beginning from today, whenever you put these hands on any console, whatever was challenging previously, the answers will come. Not because you're super smart, because of the imposing power of the hand of God upon you. It will never come to your table and there will be no result. Place your hands here, sir. All the losses, all the losses of the past, I command it to be restored back double. I command it to be restored back double. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, there's people here, they're going to take you out for reception. This folks here. Can we celebrate them as they come? a demand. I want the hand of God to walk in this direction. There's a law of supply and demand. Supply and demand. I was teaching those folks at the foundation school. No matter the demand you made, no matter what is being taught, I could be teaching anything, the power of God will still go in that direction. They go in that direction. So what do you want? I just want all my ideas to come into existence. 
Your what? My ideas. What kind of ideas? Business-wise. Business-wise. What kind of business? First of all, I won't go to open more doors for my business, the one I'm doing currently, and the clothing line that I want to start to. A clothing line? You have the name of the clothing line? Yes. You have the name of the clothing line? Okay, fine. This is what I want you to do. I'm going to come down to where you are. I want you to put your leg on my shoe. Just put your leg on my shoe. Put here. Call that clothing line by name. Say this with me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Call the clothing line by name. Sure you. I call you by name. I call you by name. Sure Prosper. Prosper. Break out. Break out. From all kinds of limitations. From all kinds of limitations. Attach with clothing lines online. Attach with clothing lines online. Call you by name again. Shall bear you. I call you by name. I call you by name. Shall Prosper. Bear you. Prosper. Break out. Break out. Of every kind of limitation. Of every kind of limitation. Attach to clothing lines. Attach to clothing lines. That is done online. That is done online. You are exceptional. I'm exceptional. You are exceptional. Call, Shope, call the name of the clothing Shope, line. Shopeo, yeah. I call you. You are exceptional. Shopeo, yeah. Exceptional. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go. Father, we thank you for you confirm your word for great signs and wonders following in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Because of time, we are not going to do the announcement. We're going to just go straight. I'll give you the brief of the announcement. On Sunday, we'll do the clip for the Calm Crusade. Please permit me. I'm just reordering the meeting. But it doesn't mean if we're sharing the grace, things can happen. Can. can we just thank God for everything? Lava Kato Sibaha Zegeva Compra Satevion Marcia Laha Fos Infradosia Lava Cose Infrahodia Sa Lava Cose Infradosia Lava Canto Vradima Cassia O Fanta Bila Haya Lava Canta Franta Mila Haya Call that woman, that woman kneeling down. The woman kneeling down at the back, call her. I just want you to know that God hears your cry. Being connected to your program for PhD is going to become without stress it will come 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 without stress in the name of our Lord Jesus just hold my hands ah, I release the favor of God like you have never known it before ha ha Thank you, Lord. Let's sign off together.
this is the last time you will use someone's car to church. This is the last time. Those persons that I spoke about, after the meeting you wait for me here, I will minister to you separately. Let's share the grace together and fellowship with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercies are following us all the days of our lives and we are in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much.